In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to let your users self-select their own profile type while registering and also while editing their profile logged in. This is based on customer feedback. People have been asking for this feature and now we've added it. So you can see here, I've already created a couple of profile types, student and teacher. And when I go edit one of the profile types, we have this new option profile field. Allow users to self-select is this profile type from the profile type profile field dropdown. So as long as this option is checked, then this profile type is gonna show up in our new profile field dropdown that lets people self-select. So that's checked, I have it checked on both. And now let's go into our profile fields and we're gonna add a new profile field for self-selecting a profile type. So I'm gonna click add new field. I'll call it profile type. Then we're gonna select the profile type field type. So let's save that. And now let's go to my profile. So you can see I'm a student type. And if I go to edit my profile now, I have a new option to select my profile type. So I'm going to switch it to teacher. So I'll click save changes. And when we view my profile, now I'm a teacher. So let's go back to the admin and we'll go to buddy boss profiles to go back to that setting. And if we go to profile types, I could edit student one and uncheck this just to show you. And now when I edit my profile, student is no longer one of the options. Okay, so I'm gonna reselect that. The reason this option is useful is because there's likely to be some profile types that you don't want a user to self-select. So for example, you can associate a type to a WordPress role. You may not want to allow a user to self-select a profile type that would make them an administrator for obvious security reasons. So this is up to you to do this properly. And then the next question is, how do we let a user select their profile type during registration? It actually works the same way as any other profile field. So as long as that field is added into the sign up field set, then it's going to be available on registration. So that's how it is now. So let's check that out. So here I am logged out on the register page and you can see that I can select a profile type on registration now. And then when this user registers, they will get that profile type automatically assigned to them. One thing to note is that if a user is assigned to a profile type that is an administrator role, and then they try to switch to a profile type that is not associated with an administrator role, we will not allow them to do it. We're gonna give them a rejection notice. And the reason is because that's kind of dangerous. Imagine if we let you switch your own profile type into another one and you lost your administrator role. Now you would suddenly lose your ability to log into your own website. So we put that limitation in there for security. So you'll wanna be careful with which profile types you allow in this field. I would suggest only allowing ones that are not administrators, unless for some reason you expect to have all your users logging in as admins.